just to show you outside, it is definitely raining. I would practice out here if I could. I used to play in the rain a lot in Florida, but nowhere is open. They're all closed because I guess California's not used to hurricanes. So yeah, um, I really wanted to hit the range, but I'll just show you what I can do instead. So although I can't hit the range, um, I can't really focus on doing full swings. There is a way, I'll show you at the end of the video, what I do when I want to practice full swings and I can't do it at the range. But mainly, um, what I do when it's raining like this is I'll practice putting for a really long time and also short game. Um, you have a chipping mat. I can recommend one, but I'm not sponsored or anything. I just buy them off Amazon. So chipping mat into uh, like with some foam balls. It's not exactly like a real ball, but I have to say it definitely helps. My um, my chipping technique has, I would say it's better than most of my friends, but all my friends kind of struggle to break 90. I'm pretty much the only one who can break 90 every once in a while. So yeah, but this is the best that you can do when it's raining. Just enjoy the, I guess, the indoors for today. But yeah, I'll just set up the tripod and show you what I do. All right, I'm sending you guys up in the kitchen. I live in a one bedroom apartment, so kitchen and living room, all that's in the same spot. By the way, sorry the laundry's running. I gotta keep my clothes clean. You know how it is, so yeah. This is how I practice putting at home. I'll just show you. Uh, don't mind my recycling bin. It's just a box. So I just have one of these putting mats. They're not too expensive. You can get some on Amazon. This one was nice, my girlfriend got me solid. The only thing though is the lines don't match up with the center of the lines don't match up with the center of the hole, which is interesting. But what I focus most when I'm putting with this putting mat is I check to make sure the ball is rolling down this line or I'll set the ball up in the middle of this little section here and just make sure the ball is rolling down the middle all the way through until the back of the catcher and then it'll just come back. So I don't focus too much about the hole. I really just focus about if I'm putting the ball straight. A lot of times I just won't hit the hit the ball in the right spot on the club. Like sometimes I'll hit it like like low here or here. Just I don't know. Maybe I'll get the yips or something. But when I practice in um, my apartment for a good amount of time, just hitting my confidence goes up and I feel like I'm getting good contact on the ball every time. I think with putting, you kind of need to because it's really important. It can like turn a stressful game into a stressless game if you're always two putting instead of uh, three putting. Just practice this putting map for, I don't know, I kind of just get in the zone sometimes and I forget about how, how much time is passing. So maybe like 20 minutes of just straight, like making sure I'm always hitting the ball the right way I want to hit it. There's other things I do when I focus on speed and getting the lines right. Maybe in, an, in another video I can talk about how I putt. And then maybe you guys can uh, help me with some things because you know, I'm not, I'm not a scratch golfer or anything. So any help I can get, I will take. Yep, I'll set you guys up, show you just like my routine when I putt. All right, it's also important to make sure the actual mat is straight. Sometimes these lines are not super straight if they're just off by a little bit. So I pretty much just putt. That one was super solid, went right down the middle. And I don't really spend too long on it. See, that one was terrible. That one felt really bad. And I just keep putting until I feel like every time I hit a putt, the putt feels good. That one was great. That one was super good too. So it just gets my confidence up when I'm preparing for a round. All right, so that's how I practice putting. Another thing that I do is I practice chipping inside my apartment. I have a little chipping mat that I got from Amazon. I got for, I think it was a Christmas gift. And the main goal of this is just to practice pretty much any shot you wanna do around the green, like practice uh, small chips, flying it to a certain yardage, limited to your apartment. And the thing about it is you are hitting foam balls, you're not hitting regular balls. Uh, if you're good enough and trust yourself, go for the regular balls but let's just, I'm not responsible for what happens afterwards. So yeah, um, I'll just show you just, I guess a little chipping round that I do. I'll set up the camera and get ready for that. All right, uh, just for reference, I'm using a pitching wedge because um, I left my wedge in my car. So I have nine balls here. And I pretty much just practice, like keep my weight on my front foot and just hit a little pitch. Keep in mind, this is a pitching wedge, so it's not. I'm not really opening it up like a like a regular hand wedge, but all 
pulled out with a bullseye. I don't know if you can tell. That's two for two right now. Pretty good on camera. Oh man, that was another bullseye. I'm usually never this good. Alright, first miss. But as you can see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six out of nine that I got in the net with a fishing wedge. Maybe I should start shipping with my fishing wedge. Two in the bullseye, that's pretty good. So that's, um, that's just one thing that you could do. You could try like with a nine iron, you can try with a 60 degree, 56, just practice chipping with all your different wedges or maybe bump and runs. But anyways, all of this you can probably find either on eBay or Amazon for like pretty good price. So if you wanna practice in your apartment, you definitely can. Um, or wherever you're living. Yeah, and I told you if you made another video, I would show you how to hit full shots in the apartment. I don't recommend this, but no one lives under me so far, I've confirmed. All right, I have to set you up there just because my living room's kind of small. I would say before you do something like this, always check your surroundings. Make sure like you're full swing, you're not gonna hit anything. And one thing I would say, or at least a little tip would be, don't just set up to the mat that you're hitting off of. Like this one, I'm hitting off of this mat. When you hit it, the mat's going to keep moving forward and you're not going to realize it and get closer and closer to something that you don't want to hit, like the TV or the coffee table or something like that. So just keep that in mind. But if you're hitting foam balls, I feel like you can do a full swing as long as you're not hitting anything. So this, that's what I do. So it's definitely loud, but you know, make sure no one's living under you. Yeah, so I do that every once in a while. I wouldn't recommend it every time because I have accidentally hit things. Um, and just make sure you don't have any cups or anything nearby that you're gonna like, hit your ball into. But yeah, so that's, uh, that's how I practice golf on rainy days or whenever you can't hit the range for whatever reason. Does it actually improve like your game? I guess it's really up to you. Um, you can just hit balls or you can really focus on improvements that you wanna make. So um, pretty much you can make it worth it or not or just as long as you're enjoying it, right? So, yeah, uh, I hope you like this quick, small video. I just noticed it was raining today. So I will gotta give credit where credit is due. My girlfriend recommended me to make this video. So, um, thanks, thanks Catherine. Yep, so that wraps it up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.